we will start this topic by eyeing the following two graphs of some functions. You can pause the video right now, quickly run your eyes over them and then hear me out describing each one of them individually. Intuitively, it's easy to tell that this is a continuous function and the other one isn't because its graph is disconnected. And yes, that's basically how we can picturize a continuous and a discontinuous function. A function continuous everywhere in the domain will be a smooth connected curve. A nice kind of a mnemonic to think of the graph of a continuous function is that it can be drawn without having to lift a pencil on the paper. As long as the pencil is in contact with the paper, we can trace a continuous curve. What about the graph of a discontinuous function? In the graph of the discontinuous function, we will find gaps or perhaps a better word would be breaks in the graph. The graph is all tidy and connected from the left to the right until we reach here, where it breaks and restarts from someplace below it. Then it rises high above to this point before breaking again and so on. Let's study this graph in short. These are the points on the x-axis, that is the domain of the function, where the function is discontinuous. We call them points of discontinuity. One more interesting thing to observe is this portion of the graph consists of just one point. So at x3, the graph actually breaks twice. You will see this in many discontinuous functions, so don't get too surprised. Moreover, we also find these little filled in circles in the corners and also there are unfilled circles above or below filled ones. What do they represent? Before revealing what they represent, let me divert your attention to some other fact. I will state an important point about continuity to clear a common misunderstanding. A function is continuous or discontinuous only in the domain of the function that is, only at those x's where the function is defined. Have a look at this function. The graph is as shown. There appears to be a big gap in the graph between the numbers 2 and 4 on the x-axis. In fact, there is no plot between these two points as the function is not defined for the numbers between 2 and 4. The function is only defined for x's between negative 1 and 2, including at negative 1 and 2, and also between 4 and 6, including both 4 and 6. So what can we say about the points between 2 and 4? Are they also the points of discontinuity? A general perception that builds in our mind when we hear the word discontinuous makes us see any sort of gap in the graph as discontinuity. But that's incorrect. Although this function is continuous in each subdomain taken separately, we cannot define continuity anywhere between these two points as they are not in the domain of the function. Hence, earlier that was the reason why I was refraining from using the word gap as it might insinuate a horizontal gap. However, there is rarely a function you will see in the topic with such huge gaps. A better way to imagine points of discontinuity is the points where the graph is jumping either up or down. And these circles are made to mark the position where the function is defined at those points of discontinuity and where it isn't. For instance, at point x1, you can see without any sort of mark, it will be difficult to tell if the point with coordinates x1, f of x1 is connected with the left portion of the graph or with the right. In our language, we call them holes. Holes are made on the curve at a point to indicate a break in the graph. And a hole is filled into the mark where the function is defined at that particular x. So this is where f of x1 is defined. This is one type of discontinuous function. And it shouldn't be surprising now that this type is called jump discontinuity. There are two other types of discontinuities. Removable discontinuity and infinite discontinuity. But we will leave them for some other video. 
Before ending this video, I will leave you with a question to ponder upon. Look at this graph. It kinda looks similar to the graph of the type removable discontinuity which is saw now. So the question is, is this function continuous at x equal to negative 1? Share your answers with your reasons in the comment section below. Also, do subscribe to our channel to stay connected. And as always, stay smart, stay curious.